You open Valorant you open it and then it doesn't open so Valorant is not open. Of starting up then I have a few different solutions for you so follow. Along and your problem should be fixed now here's what you need to do first of. I'll close down every instance of Farron what you're going to do is you're going to open up this thing right here and close down Farron so exit Vanguard. Yes. Once you've done that right click here and open task manager now go to go to. The details section and look for something like Farrant Riot or anything. Like that if you see anything click on it and then click on end task if you've done that you can close this down now right click on Valorant go to open file, location then go to Riot Games, it's right here go to Fant go to Live go to Shooter, Game, go to Binaries go to Win64 and then scroll down till you have Fant Win64. Shipping right click on this click on properties go to compatibility and here. Click disable full screen optimizations click on apply and then click on OK. Now you can close this down so the next thing we're going to do is click here. And search now search for services open this up. And now press the V and we're going to look for VGC so have VGC right click on it click on properties and then start up type chang it from manual to automatic click on apply and then click on start right here when it's loaded you can click on OK and close this down. Now we're going to search in Windows once again so here search for MC config. And here we have system configuration once it's opened up, you can click on services and now search for VGC again area VGC and make sure that the box here is ticked if you if it's unticked and you want to tick the box click on it and then here click on apply and then click on OK then just uh, close. This now we're going to press Windows and R at the same time so this will open. Up in here we're going to type the following percent app data percent press on OK and now in the top click on app data go to local and you should search. For Riot Games open Riot Games. Go to Riot Client, go to data and then here we have Riot Games private settings. Why else so right click on it click on rename and. You should click on the YAML and then behind it press and behind it write DOT. Number one press on enter click yes and now it will be renamed if you've done that you can close it down and next we're going to open device manager right here search for device manager open it up up and then click on the drop down menu on the display adapters go to your graphics card that either is right nor anything else right click on it and click on update driver search automatically for drivers and make sure that the best drivers are installed close it down close it down graphics settings open this up so now you have to look where f is installed so go to your icon right click on it click on open file location and then here i have right client services x so normally it's located in this spot on your c drive so what you're going to do you're going to click on browse right there and then you're going to go to this part so then open riot games open riot client and then click on riot client services xa click on add and then here click on options make sure it's on high performance mode and then click on save now please close all this down and then the last thing that we will do is right click on Vale Rant go to properties go to compa and here if you have run this program as an administrator if you have enabled then disable it and click on apply and then click on ok now the next thing download this pack link in description go to website and download after downloading extract here now simply open up this folder and run this DirectX on your PC. Ok after that go back open this folder and run tcom and after all installation go and open up last what you now have to do is you have to.
Restart your PC so restart your PC and after you restart it you should be able to load up Fent and it should be working now I hope this tutorial helped you and